Hello, I'm Rhea. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Ignite 2020, our sixth edition. Um, first and foremost, a very happy Valentine's Day to everybody who's come from uh, far and near. Thank you for choosing to spend this time with us. There may be perhaps much better options that you had. Hope you get enough love tonight uh, from us and from each other. Um, so, you know, before I talk about the year that has gone by and the year that is yet to come, I thought it's important to reflect on one question that I've been asked incessantly over the last few weeks. And the question is, why do we do Ignite? Why a company of our stature, of a scale, you know, really tries to kind of punch above their weight and put on the show for, for the world and for everyone? And as I was pondering on that fact, I realized that it's our sixth Ignite, and every Ignite has had slightly different purpose, and, and has a slightly different sort of flavor to it. So I thought it's important for me to start by telling you the story of how each of those Ignites went. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Ignite 1.0 in 2012 in April, almost eight years ago. It was in a small farmhouse in near Delhi in Meroli, in a one bedroom place. Uh, it was just about four or five of us. We weren't really earning any salaries. And the purpose of that Ignite was to drive belief. Belief in ourselves, that our product can maybe work. We actually launched our alpha version on the web that day. But more importantly, belief uh, in our families that they can let us allow, they can allow us to work on projects that don't really earn any salaries. Perhaps more so than the co-founders, it was important to drive that for our early employees, uh, as, as, you know, to convince their parents as to why they should give up their jobs with Samsungs and Googles to join us. And, uh, and I still remember, you know, their families came and we touched their feet and offered them chai and said, you know, please let your children work here because we are working on something real. And did the web product work? Not really, but did it was successful enough to get everybody to believe in the project and for those guys to indeed quit their jobs and job us? Yes. So it did its job. Ignite 2.0, and I see some of you here, Srikant, Sunita, and others, my own family, and who've been to that Ignite was the Super Saturday. We had, by now in Bangalore had a 1,500 square foot apartment, and, uh, and within that, Health FM was being built. But unfortunately, by this time, we were out of money, and we were not paying any salaries again after two years, so it was important for us to drive hope. And that was the purpose of the Ignite, and we were able to drive that because we had customers. We may not have had money, but we had 30, power of 30,000 users behind us who had found us valuable, who had rated us well, and who had found purpose in their life thanks to our app. And so we invited them over and our own ecosystem over, you know, in, into this apartment, uh, you know, very, very close by, actually, in Indranagar. By Ignite 3.0, which happened in 2016, we had a real business. We were doing half a million dollars run rate, we had half a million users, um, and, and, you know, and the purpose of that Ignite, after we had achieved our Series A, was really to, dr to, to celebrate you know, to talk about what we've built, what we're about to build, and be excited about it. Moving forward, our Ignite 4.0 was very much in Bangalore. By now, we had accomplished our Series B, and the purpose of that Ignite was to resolve. Resolve that a services company like us, with a small engineering team, can have the audacity to invest in AI. And in that Ignite in 2017, Ria was born. Purpose of last Ignite, which was 15 months ago, was to inspire. We had hit a certain scale, you know, we had gone to uh, 8 million users by now. We had a, you know, a 30 crore revenue business, and the idea was what else we can do with this. We dared to launch globally, we dared to launch AI-only products like smart plans, etc. Fifteen months later, this Ignite, I believe, our purpose is to deliver to deliver all on the hopes, the promises, the inspirations, and the celebrations that have been laid in stone so far, and to actualize all of that vision into real tangible outcomes, and really the purpose of our team together is to deliver. So, when people ask why we do Ignite, I guess the real reason is because it is one day where we really try to reimagine the future from our perspective. Where we ask the question, not why, 
but really, why not? Where we really try to stretch the limits of technology and products that are there in front of us and push the boundaries on them with the deep faith in the audacity, commitment, and boldness of our team to really accomplish those ideals. We do Ignite because we like to celebrate the impact that we deliver on more than 100 customers who are here in the audience, for example, but to millions in each year that we choose to be alive. I think we do Ignite to inspire ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, and I think we do Ignite to maybe even inspire the world. Really, we do Ignite because we like to do the impossible. Year after year, yet again and again. So with that, welcome to Ignite uh, 2020. And you know, it'll be a good idea to look back and see what we've accomplished since Ignite 2018. So let's talk about users first. You know, if you look at, you know, by around 2018, we had established uh, a footprint of about 8 million users that had joined our platform, a lot of them from India, but certainly with a global scale as well. Well, in the last 15 months, we've effectively doubled that user base to 16 million today. <laughs> last Ignite, uh, and since this Ignite, we're actually up to about, in India alone, we were at 13 million downloads. And going beyond that, like I was mentioning, we were a 30 crore revenue run rate company 15, million year, uh, 15 year, uh, months ago. And within those 15 months, we've actually tripled that to becoming a 100 crore revenue run rate company today. It's great to build a good scale business, but I think it's even better to build a business that's built on strong and true foundations. I'm proud to report that today our net promoter score lies in line with Oberoi, Amex, and some of the leading world companies at 70 that nearly two-thirds of our 100 crore revenue run rate actually comes from word of mouth or renewals. We're not burning cash to make cash. And that in the last one year itself, we've helped the world disappear with 2.6 million kgs of weight. It is on the strength, thank you. It is on the strength of our nutritionists, trainers, yoga instructors, and our AI capabilities that we have built this 100 crore revenue run rate, ladies and gentlemen. So give it up to all the amazing nutritionists, trainers, yoga instructors, and engineers in the crowd, and online that are there with us. To give you a perspective on how they have engaged with our audience base, you can see that you know, until 2018, about 3.5 million message threads, unique message threads were initiated by our users to our coaches. And you can see sort of you know, Delhi, Bangalore, Bombay, and Hyderabad being the key areas where our coaches are placed and our consumers sort of everywhere. Uh, within 2018 and 19 alone, we did about 3.4 million that messages that were exchanged, as you can see. And by 2020, uh, you know, in the last few months itself, only about 4.5 uh, million messages have been exchanged by our coaches as well as our clients. But you might remember that we had launched our super nutritionist called Ria. 18 months ago. And in the same time frame, Ria alone has serviced more than 7 million messages from Bangalore to the rest of the world. And in fact, these were unique message threads. If you actually combine all the individual messages that have been received by us from the ecosystem, you can see the global impact that our coaches and Ria are jointly making. Ria is in pink, and our 500 coaches are in turquoise, guys. 50, mess 50 million messages done and dusted till now. Now, messages alone are not really worth anything if they don't make impact. And impact is what we're all about. That's what builds a great sustainable business. And that impact we've delivered to millions of customers each year. Many of these stories continue to inspire us to work very, very hard. And today I want to recognize some of our customers through our conversation, but I want to begin by recognizing the story of a very special customer from the outskirts of Bangalore. Can I please have the story of our really passionate customer played now, please? Thank you. When people talk about Mother Road, they all say about the wonderful things, the emotional things. I also expected the same. I was very excited to kiss those feats, which I felt kicking inside me from past few months. But little did I know there is a whole another side of it. Hi, I'm Rajlina. I live in Bangalore and I'm mother of one. I used to sleep for 18 hours a day. 
I hated moving out of bed. I had scars. I had stretch marks. I put a lot of weight. You know, like I felt irritated every time. I was angry. I was very short tempered. I was screaming at everyone at home, including my little one. So I was having postpartum depression without even realizing it. So <clears throat> that point of time, I realized. It's time to fight back. It's time to not feel helpless anymore. And that time, I came across Healthy Five Me. It's been nine months now, and I have lost 20 kgs. You know, 20 kgs from 82 to 62. I came across the Coach Power Plan, and I came across Aparna Mathew. She was my fitness coach. She is not my coach. She is more like a sister to me. a sister with whom i can share everything the app has got some cool features and i just loved it it has got calorie tracker it has got water tracker another feature i liked is ria she is my best friend you know because every time i have a meal i just check inside quickly because um, i'm very conscious now mm, i was very positive person from beginning of my college life but um what i spoke of this one year i became a very low self esteem person i had no confidence left in myself but when i become a member of elify me i am again back to my life i'm very positive very energetic i can do everything all day long i can take care of my baby healthify me just didn't healthify myself from outside it healthified me from inside also and now also you can see me the new version of me and i just love it she's been an amazing inspiration for us and she's joined us remotely right now please give her a big hand she wanted to be here in person but with a toddler couldn't be and can i please ask aparna matthews to stand up as well her long lost sister and uh rajina thank you so much for being an amazing inspiration from behalf on all the health of imi team thank you for being a guiding light for all of us thank you sir for providing me this platform to showcase my story and finding my second sister <laughs> thank you thank you again rajina wish you all the very best uh wish we had you here but we hopefully you, will sir. next ignite so um yeah. that story is not unique uh, ladies and gentlemen rajlina is just one of them may i please get the light on the audience and ask our 100 customers who have joined us from around the country to just stand up please would love to get to see you and would love to recognize and celebrate each one of you and your stories each one of them has a legendary story to tell It is for you that we work together so hard, and we continue to do the same. Uh, we hope to continue to do the same for many more years to come. Uh, we'll be facilitating and recognizing you guys individually at the end of the event. So please wait for that. Um, and uh, and you know, of course, uh, you know, many of our customers have posted amazing, amazing uh, badges for us recognizing that it's time to healthify earlier this year. I thought it was important to showcase that. On an average, each one of you have lost four and a half kgs of weight in a 12-month period. on an average 80% of you saw decline in lifestyle disease indicators like hba1c like tsh levels cholesterol levels etc or fasting blood sugar levels but more importantly almost half of you saw that decline by more than 15% now that may not sound like a large number to you but if an hba1c count drops from 7 to 6 it can mean the difference between being diabetic or not and that's what health fi me has helped deliver to 16 million people ladies and gentlemen Now we've not just gone out there and helped individual customers. In the last one, in last Ignite, we had helped I think around 60 corporates. In the in the last one year since, we've actually helped to find a hundred corporate customers as well, who have partnered with us. Many of you are in the audience as well. I thank you and recognize you uh, for being here and for working with us. 
Most interestingly, you do remember we had broken a world record last time. We had established the largest ever corporate wellness challenge done in the world digitally. Guess what? We broke our own record this year with Cognizant and now we have the new world record at 50,000 people uh, live engaged in a single digital challenge. So, you know, forget the Limca and the Guinness books of the world. Last Ignite, we had launched International. You know, we had decided to boldly go where few consumer startups out of India have gone. And after extensive travel around the world, we had cho chosen, you know, Southeast Asia as our early destination. If you may remember, we had showcased some of our early team members. Well, 15 months later, that business is live and active with over half a million users in Southeast Asia. And we're doing a million dollar business run rate. And we're in the top three apps in Malaysia, Singapore, as well as Brunei at this moment. So that's what we've done. Can I please request the Southeast Asia to stand up and let's give it up for them, guys, uh, for the Southeast Asia team who's come down from KL, Jakarta, and Singapore. Where next? I feel like maybe a little bit of, you know, Alexander the Great moment here, you know, standing around and be like, where next should we go? Should we stabilize what we have or should we expand and really go out there into multiple geographies? Well, I'm happy to tell you that we are keenly exploring uh, the Asia-Pacific region broadly, looking at Australia, Middle East, Indonesia, and we're also even eyeing UK at the same time. Where will we go? What shall we do? What next customers will we healthify in the world? You'll have to wait till next Ignite to find out. Now, most importantly, I think the boldest thing we've done last Ignite was to launch Smart, Healthify Smart. Now, if you may remember, the whole vision and the hypothesis was that we are sitting on the world's richest data of nutritionist to client exchange, and we can model AI systems around that, and maybe launch an AI service at a fraction of the price point. We at Healthify built Healthify so that we could access millions and not just cater to you know, the top 1%, but really go out there to the masses. Our coaching services are expensive at 1,500 rupees a month, right? So we were wondering if we could launch something at a fraction of a cost, if it could be AI only. Here's the catch. Nobody in the world has built a consumer AI business in healthcare worldwide. You have AI augmenting human beings, you have human services exchange, but you don't have a pure play AI only services business in the world. And we decided to go ahead and take a shot at it, because why not? Right? We're sitting on the database and then we'll take a look at it. But I'm actually proud to say that I laid the vision, but I actually did not execute on Smart Plan. Perhaps the first major release in the company where you shall not find any footprints by me. It was actually a smart man behind the smart plan who took it from where it was to where it is. You know, initially we were hoping that we'll drive maybe 10% growth or 20% growth, but I think we achieved a little bit more than that. To tell you that story, may I invite the man himself, Anjan Bhojrajan, our head of products and growth. Well, in 2018, when we launched Healthify Smart, uh, we had this quick meeting with Tushar where um, you know, he said, listen, uh, how much more can you do for the business, right? Um, can you grow our live paying customers by 20%, by 30%? I said, Tushar, you know what, we will really work night and day and we'll get to like, you know, 50%. Let's double our customer base, right? Um, so this is where we stood, right? When in clicker, always a problem. Guys, my clicker. <laughs> so um, when we were planning for Ignite, uh, the biggest, the one biggest failure point was supposed to be a clicker, and it's failing right now. So I'm going to wait. Well, okay. It's here. All right. So. Back then, uh, in November 2018, uh, when we look at a snapshot of our live playing customers, we were at around 25,000, right? Um, that's about 1.5% of our monthly active users. Um, looking at this figure, um, you know, Tushar and I bargained the regular way, and I said, you know what, let's grow it by 50%. Let's try and do this, right? And um, you'll be amazed that we launched Healthify Smart uh, in November 2018, and this is where we stand now. We have tripled our live paying customers. 
what, what we don't internally, at least for the teams that are here right now, what we don't look at is how we compare with, say, the other freemium apps of the world. For example, we have uh, LinkedIn, a lot of us use it, right? And we have Tinder, uh, which also I think a lot of us use. But uh, so both those apps um, kind of range around 2 to 2.5%. This ratio is around 2 to 2.5%. So by tripling our uh, live paying customers today, we are at 5%, guys. We have beaten all global benchmarks that we are eyeing over the last year. The f growth has been phenomenal. But this is what we achieved. How did we achieve it, right? Uh, the larger question is, uh, what's the brain behind it? How do the teams work? What did we prioritize? So in uh, November 2018, when we, uh, when we announced Healthify Smarter Ignite, uh, the first launch had RIA and a personalized diet plan, everything that Tushar just spoke about. Uh, the largest piece was, um, because it was AI, we were learning a lot from our users that we didn't know about. We didn't know how to think, how to make our AI think. Uh, the largest problem that we identified then was, um, you know, what the taste profile of our users. How do we know whether a person who's South Indian likes dosa more than idli, for example, right? So we came up with a, with a rather interesting solution. Internally, we call it Diet Tinder. We brought Tinder to nutrition, right? So people could literally swipe right, left, etc. The funny part is the hit rate on Diet Tinder was probably better than Tinder because for every 13 swipes, we found three meals that you liked, whereas I think on on Tinder to be around, I'm guessing, 200, right? So, so uh, that happened, and that gave us the much-needed boost. Um, around this time, we were on 10K users. We wanted to really, really take the app forward. Uh, in fact, we have a member from the Google Play Store team over here, and um, around this time is when we started really skyrocketing. On the Google Play Store listings, the biggest thing that we used to check every day was, you know, where do we stand against other health and wellness apps? Uh, we went to number six in two weeks. Where can we go in six months, right? Um, and guys, from concept to six months later, we went to number one. We beat almost every global app in India, period. <laughs> of course. Thank you. That skyrocketed our uh, customer acquisition. We went to about 30K users in literally six months. But the most interesting part was the second half of the journey. Last year, uh, we realized that the only validation is not where we stand in terms of revenue and where we are in the Google Play Store rankings, right? Um, the largest validation is real users. Um, we did shoot our first testimonial. We have, I think, close to about 50, 60 testimonials of users coming to tell us how Healthify Smart, an AI-led solution, for the first time, nobody has built this, has made a change to their lives. But most importantly, over the year, the one thing that we land up realizing was diet wasn't enough. 30% of our users wanted workout too. So we decided to take that to the next level too. Uh, we decided to not just do a workout plan. Right now, our AI will also work out with you. As you can see the screenshot on the right side, uh, you can actually look at the app no matter where you are. You can look at the app. You can work out at home or at the gym. It doesn't matter. So she's all, Ria is always with you. Now, this was um, pretty much the next stepping stone for us. We landed up uh, from being 30,000 in July, we landed up going all the way to 90,000 users by December 2019. That's 90,000 users from zero users, guys, in a year. <laughs> Most importantly, where do we stand now? From last Ignite to this Ignite, where did we go? And how much have we moved forward in terms of AI tech, right? What was the dream of a three-member team? It was literally a three-member team. Um, it was one designer and two engineers back then. Uh, now is a full-time project for a 12-member team, designers, engineers, product managers. What was at a uh, hundredth rank on the highest grossing apps on the Play Store is now number one. But most importantly, what is an app, what was the concept that was uh, built in the garage of Healthify Me, you know, one and a half years ago is now a four-star rated app, and has 100,000 users using it right now. <laughs> this wouldn't have been possible without some of our partners. They are in the audience today. Um, there are a lot of companies that kind of fed into this ecosystem. They trusted our product. They actually took our product to their paying customers. And that kind of helped us understand whether we have a real product that's viable or not. 
So thank you and a shout out to all the partners that have worked with us. There's Swiggy, Practo, I'm sure all of you are here. Thank you so much. Guys, a big round of applause for these companies trusting in a product that was extremely new. Right? So. so last Ignite, again, we had this, after Ignite, we had this conversation with Tusha, right? The whole negotiation of 20 to 30 percent to 40 percent, 50 percent, we did 300 percent instead. Uh, so the largest curveballs, as all of us know in the organization, are thrown by one man. That's Tushar himself. So uh, it's kind of difficult to deal with his expectations. So don't know what he's going to put forth today. Let's see what he has in store. Tushar, can you please come back on stage, please? Thanks, Anjan. Thank you, guys. Congratulations to you and the entire Smart Plan team for delivering unbelievable results, guys. Um, So no, no, no curveball this time. I was just trying to push the boundary a little bit. You know, that's all I do, try to instigate things. So, you know, this time around, we were thinking about where do we take this smart plan momentum that we have behind us? You know, where do we take it next? And that's when we realized something very fundamental about our business, which is that if you really break down our business at the very bare atomic level of it, we are in the business of storytelling, right? If you think about it for a second, I have told stories to the investors over here who have given me the money. And then I have told stories to you guys who have joined the firm. And then you tell stories to our customers by bringing them on. And then final and most important story is told by our nutritionists and trainers. And those stories go on to change lives. Right? We don't have a physical product, do we? So what do we do? We storytell. We are storytellers, guys. And the most powerful way of bringing that storytelling combination, while it's great to come from one brand, it's even better if it comes from people who are already master stories and tellers and motivators, isn't it? So what if we could expand? So today, Smart Plan and RIA combines the best of our philosophy with artificial intelligence. But what if we could extend that, our power of our AI and tech, to other fitness legends, to other fitness celebrities, right? And what if we could encapsulate what is the philosophy of that fitness celebrity and legend about diet and put that together in our AI, take workout and put that philosophy in our AI, and finally take fundamental ability to motivate and put that in our AI as well and combine it together. And that's what we're trying to do. And so we came up with the concept of Health of Family Smart, the Legends Edition. And, and then, we figured, you know, who should we work with? Who, which, which legend to really use? And we came across Mahesh Bhupati. You know, the form, the, the former multi Grand Slam champion, you know, an inspiration to the country, being first as a legendary uh, athlete, and who continues to be fit and follow an amazing regimen of both diet and fitness, even now. So we decided to partner up with Mahesh Bhupati, and we decided to launch Mahesh Bhupati edition itself you know, to work on that. But, to hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not live yet. <laughs> so we decided to encapsulate, you know, we worked with Mahesh, we said, Mahesh, what is your philosophy on diet and workout as well as on engagement? Our tech teams, our nutritionist teams, our fitness teams spent several days with him, right? And I'm just happy to tell you that the Smart Plan Mahesh Bhupati edition, our first one of a legend ed ed Legends edition, is ready to launch already in the last few months. But it's better than me telling you about it if Mahesh Bhupati himself tells you about it. So Mahesh, can I have you on stage, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Mahesh Bhupati. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, um, excited to be here. Um, Tushar and me met uh, maybe over five years ago. Um, I was still actively playing tennis. Um, you know, obviously, his passion to be in the health and wellness uh, space was uh, contagious. Um, 
and uh, I'm really uh, excited to see the kind of growth he's doing, so congratulations on that. Obviously, when uh, you know these guys did, the, I think, the mil uh, 2020 campaign, I think Tushar and me uh, <clears throat> started talking again, and like he's told you guys, they wanted to kind of add a specific uh, vertical to all the good stuff that you guys are already providing. Um, you know, from my perspective, I'm no fitness expert, uh, but I can tell you over the course of my career, I have literally experimented with every single form of um, health and wellness to try and achieve that extra edge to be better. Um, obviously, I know <clears throat> what it takes to be disciplined when it comes to diet, um, because again, that makes a <clears throat> big difference in every professional athlete's career. And obviously, you know, trying to stay motivated when the during the good times and the bad times. So when Tushar and me spoke, I, I thought uh, I had some interesting ideas, I think, which uh, <clears throat> hopefully we will roll out as uh, and when uh, we continue to evolve the Mahesh Bhupati edition. But I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, what you guys are doing is very exciting. Uh, Mahesh, the Mahesh Bhupati edition, I hate saying my own name, by the way. <laughs> I, I told him we're going to call it the MB edition. The MB edition is going to be uh, the first offering, uh, you know, hopefully next Ignite, uh, I don't want to reveal too much now, but by the next Ignite you guys will know what I'm talking about, but uh, the Legends uh, concept is going to evolve, uh, hopefully make a big difference uh, to identify uh, the bottom line and in the top line. Thanks again. Thanks, Mahesh. One more time for accepting this. Hold on, we gotta give it live. So, guys, the the Mahesh Bhupati Legends Edition will have you know Mahesh's uh, perspective on diet actually stitched together with our own AI. So, his philosophy on what is good and what is bad for you, but tuned and modified to your own calorie and your nutrition requirements. Uh, Mahesh's philosophies on workouts. In fact, his own workout videos, again, combined to your level of intensity by our AI, graded down and graded up, as well as his own engagement and motivational videos. We're also going to do Ask Me Anythings with Mahesh once a month. We're also going to run some challenges and competitions, and some of you may get a chance to, you know, grab a coffee with him, etc. So these are amazing things that we have planned. Uh, like Mahesh said, this is just the first of a grand plan here that we're going to be doing together. But Mahesh, let's, uh, let's announce to the world that, guys, at this moment today, we're excited to tell you that actually in about an hour's time from now, on, uh, on our Play Store and App Store, the Mahesh Bhupati edition is going to be live. So please check it out, purchase, and enjoy it. Congratulations. Thank you, Mahesh. And uh, what Mahesh was alluding to is that this is first of, of, of a grand plan that we've had. Mahesh has actually joined Healthify. In a, in a collaborative fashion to really sculpt the Legends edition to where we believe it should be. And, you know, we've, we've hopefully uh, will have a much grander plan around it like we do from each Ignite to the next, right? But I'm assuming Mahesh, Lara is in, right? Also, Lara Dutta is also on, right? Cross his fingers, okay. So, you know, I was assuming the, it's Valentine's Day, come on, you gotta give it to her, right? Huh? Oh my God, he's not home. So we might have some trouble in bringing her on board, but, uh, you know, I guess just the last point that I want to touch, I don't want to take too much of your time. There's an incredible showcase by the team here where they're going to go really deep into some of the events that are about to be uh, what we worked on over here. But, uh, uh, you know, what I thought is it'd be important to reflect on the progress we've made together on our platform piece. We had last year announced that we wanted to go from beyond weight loss into wider healthy living. Well, we started by distilling it down into four key components. Nutrition, fitness, care, and mind. It's the end of the day, health, healthy living is about these four things, right? If you got your diet right, your workout right, if you're not well, you can see a doctor, and if you have a positive mindset, you're kind of set. So on nutrition, we decided to figure out how can we get you to eat healthy and tasty? Because just healthy doesn't cut it, right? And just tasty, we all know is bad. So how do we combine both things to really get you, you know, to, to nudge you? Um, the first question was, do we have any authority? to have a point of view on the matter. And, you know, we figured that we do. Um, we've got a billion foods that have been tracked by our customers. Uh, we have knowledge graphs in, in an AI backdrop, which allows us to, you know, to be able to have the intelligence of what consumers fundamentally like and what consumers fundamentally have frequently together. And with this intelligence in place, we figured, is it possible that we could combine this 
you know, with, with other food delivery apps and really together build a joint program, right? So that you can not only be given advice, but that diet and that, that advice can be fulfilled. Uh, we are more than that. And so we decided to actually figure out problems to two different solutions. One is better discovery on food delivery apps. How many of you have had a difficult time choosing on, say, a Swiggy? Raise your hands, please. Which, what to eat, when to eat, etc. How many have had a difficult time finding out what's healthy on Swiggy? Raise your hand, please. Right? So, you know, we decided to partner with Swiggy and launch FitPix, which will allow you to have selections of curated healthy foods on Swiggy's app. Right? So, next time you go there, you can actually find what's healthy and what's not. And as a next step, we figured, you know, diet, we all provide diet plans, right? Hundreds of thousands of diet plans refreshed weekly to our paying consumers. But what if you could take that from advice to actually getting that food? Now, won't that be cool? And it is, uh, I'm very proud to say that we're going on a pilot pace live with Swiggy of exactly that, of creating your diet plans into food delivered in Gurgaon starting next week in Leaf itself. And to announce that, can I invite the founder of Swiggy, Nandan, on the stage, please? Mike, guys. Thanks, thanks for making time. Yeah. Really excited to join Swiggy as well. Uh, maybe if you can say a couple of words, Nandan, on the partnership we're evolving, that'll be great. Thanks a lot, Tushar, uh, for inviting uh, me and the team from Swiggy. Very excited to partner. So I'll maybe start off with a small anecdote. Please. Usually, uh, the we, which is basically senior leadership and founders, keep going to Twitter and keep searching for Swiggy and try to understand what the customer feedback is like pretty much on a very regular basis. And the one month we really hate doing that is January, right? Everyone's basically on Twitter saying that we want to uninstall Swiggy because obviously because of uh, the health effects and it kicks in quite a bit in Jan. Whenever we see it, we cringe to ourselves and we say, we keep, we keep thinking, what do we do, right? And at least over the last two years, sustainable eating has become a very big charter for us and it's one of the uh, core things that we'll, be, we'll continue to focus as well. We started working on Swiggy Daily close to two years back. We launched it a year back in uh, Gurgaon. Swiggy Daily is basically uh, allows consumers to be able to get access to sustainable, healthy, home-cooked food on a regular basis where you have daily and weekly subscriptions. And uh, <coughs> apart from that, we also decided that we needed to do a lot of work on our marketplace, which is our core Swiggy app, to be able to actually uh, help customers discover a lot, uh, discover healthy food, nutritional information, get more awareness. And the first person I reached out to when we were st sort of starting this off was Tushar and Healthify Me, and we were trying to basically understand uh, from their wealth of experience, how we can make the product better. And uh, yeah, like Tushar mentioned, we're already uh, doing a pilot with Swiggy Daily on uh, helping deliver uh, calorie counted nutritional meals to customers in Gurgaon. And uh, we're also sort of working on uh, we're working with Healthify Me to actually create a, fit, a collection called Fit Picks on Swiggy. If you'd, you'd have seen, seen it last month, and we're uh, we're basically working with Healthify Me to get a selection of restaurants which are healthy for customers and help customers make better choices. And I think this is basically just a very small seed of uh, what a very uh, uh, long-term fruitful relationship is going to be like. And I'd like to th thank Tushar for all the support uh, that he and his team has given us. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Nandan. Thanks for the support over here. We're looking forward to working with you. Yeah. Thanks again. So, you know, uh, one of the funny things was I said, hey, Nandan, so how many restaurants, how many meals do we have to choose? He's like, hey, can we do only, you know, how about we start only from Indranagar? I said, sure, because, you know, I said, don't worry, you know, bring it on. We can, REI can analyze thousands of recipes. He says, uh, buddy, Indranagar always has 75,000 foods that you have to analyze. And I was like, my God, that's a huge scale. But you know, we've done that successfully and I think around with FitPix with about 20 cities in India. So the millions of foods were analyzed by our classified what's healthy and not. So those offerings are, are live in Swiggy and will continue to be. So uh, besides working on food delivery apps, we thought the other thing we can do, a lot of people, how many of you cook at home? A significant part of you as well, right? So you guys don't need our diet plans converted to Swiggy. Maybe what you need is diet plans converted to groceries that can be on a click of a button arrive at your place, isn't it? That's exactly what we're launching, guys, in the next couple of months, before the end of the quarter. Uh, and, uh, you know, the team will go down into the depths of exactly how it's been built and what's going to happen, and you'll see all that in our product showcase in, in little over half an hour. But I want to give, give, uh, give a shout out to Anant from Milk Basket, if he's here, if you could just, uh, just stand up, Anant, you know, I know that you're going to be going up on stage soon as well. 
and, and, and talk about some of the grocery pilots that we are doing. We're working with otherwise in conversations with several other major players to make it a reality. Um, exercise, besides nutrition, you know, what stops us from exercising fundamentally? It's difficult, it's hard, it's time consuming, right? Which one of these is the most annoying piece? The difficult, the hard, or the time consuming? Time consuming, right? So what if we could say, you could press a button and start exercising, you probably could do it, right? So we decided to take our one is to one coaching philosophy from just text messaging to maybe doing it over video. The concept started as an idea between me and my yoga instructor, Pragya, because, you know, with my travel schedule and her travel schedule, we weren't finding time to actually do yoga. So she said, hey man, we should just do it over WhatsApp video. And it was, it actually worked out. I said, we should just scale this to our millions of users. So guys, I'm very excited that next week, we're gonna be launching video-based exercise, one is to one coaching. It's a very new concept for the world and it works for sure. I have, I have dog fooded this product myself and I'm really excited for you all to try it as well. Um, but more importantly, if you don't want to work out at home and if you want to find the nearest gym closest to you and have a quick workout in, wouldn't it be cool if you could do that and not worry about which gym is it or what class is it, but like, hey, I want to work out, where's the nearest gym? Okay, I'm going to go and do my thing. That'd be cool, right? So I again met, was, was, was chatting with Neha, the founder of Fraternity, and we've decided to again collaborate and in two cities in Bombay and Bangalore, starting now, starting today, all of our premium customers will have free one month access to any gym they want around them. And all of fraternity customers will have access to, um, to all of our smart plans. So that has also gone live today. Um, last time we talked about that we wanted to have a role to play in, in medical areas as well, because half our paying customers have, a, have an affiliate medical condition, particularly diabetes, hypertension, PCOS, cholesterol, and thyroid. So we started with a team of doctors. That team is today almost a dozen in number. We've had thousands of paying customers who've actually paid for our doctor services, integrated with our nutritionist services. And it's a nice, interesting blend to see doctors and nutritionists kind of working hand in hand to really work and curate plans for our customers. Um, and, and it is very much live, and I think we've scaled it. We've gone beyond beta. We launched it only three months ago. And so this year, we're gonna, you'll hopefully see a lot of noise by us around it. Last but not the least, one thing that I'm personally very invested in is a positive mind, a better mind, taking care of mind, because I believe that mental wellness, very passionately, is extremely important for your physical wellness. They're almost interconnected in a way that I think we as humans are barely beginning to understand. We ran a survey and I realized I'm not alone. 70% of Healthy Family community wanted help with mental health, you know, particularly with anxiety and depression. Um, and uh, with, uh, with, with this in mind, we looked at our own technology and framework and realized, well, we are the best at one-is-to-one -one services, isn't it? That's what we've done with nutritionists, trainers, doctors. So it's easy, something easily we can extend to counselors as well. So this is something that we are currently in beta testing. We already have had a few hundred users on the platform and we are engaging with, and we expect that by June 2020, you'll see our first step in the mental wellness direction as well. I'm really excited about it, and I hope to tell you results from it by next Ignite. Finally, guys, you've always used to tracking your food, water, nutrition steps, and weight on Healthify Me, right? But what if you could track a whole lot of other things that can cater to the platform we've built? What about moods? What about periods? What about uh, sleep? And many other such things. They're all coming to your app, guys. We're gonna more than double our trackers in the next three months alone, and our team will tell you a lot more about it in a little bit. So this is a little bit about what's coming ahead and a little bit about the year that has gone by. Um, it's time for me to wrap and pass the baton on to the team. Uh, but before I do that, I thought I'll just you know, reflect on one very amazing uh, milestone that we are achieving this week. Guys, we in February have turned eight. Uh, almost eight years ago with five days to spare, we had incorporated the company and it's my privilege that this week is the year we, we celebrate our eighth year and our eighth birthday together. It's been eight hard years, and it's amazing to share that birthday with you. So, as I conclude, as I conclude this Ignite, I feel ready. I feel like it's time that Healthify Me and we together take charge. We take control and that we deliver. Maybe a little bit, if I had to, had to reflect on how I feel today, along with my team, I think I feel the same as probably 
mountaineers and climbers do after months and years of training and after days of acclimatization as they get out of their base camp and they stare at the summit in that pre-dawn haze, you know, with, a, with, a, with, with maybe sweat under their skin and a determined look on their face. To be honest, maybe I feel like the scientists do, you know, when they've worked for years on a spaceship that's ready to finally take off. I think our spaceship is ready. I think it's standing tall. And we are not about moon or the stars or even the solar system anymore, guys. At Ignite, I think our imagination is stretched to the very outer limits of our mental galaxies. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we are finally ready to hit Ignite. Thank you so much and hope you have an amazing evening ahead. See you next Ignite, guys. Thanks, Tushar. Hello. Thanks, Tushar. Um, guys, we've, we have uh, refreshments and drinks outside. We'll take a quick break.